What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we had basically decked out our vulture here um, and kind of tried to test it out, though we were stayed in the Pilots Federation system, which was not really a smart idea um, because then the bounties were only available to the Pirates Fe uh, Pilots Federation, so we didn't get that many. Um, now one thing that was brought up to me, totally forgot about this while we were upgrading the ship, um, was in fact the uh, alloy, the armor plating. So I went ahead and bought the reinforced, it's the step up from the standard. It did drop me from 1550 light year jumps to uh, 1483. Not terrible, but it is significant. Uh, that's laden, by the way. Unladen is 1619 to, er, 16, to 1546. So we're losing about a light year per um, upgrade. The next one would be the military. I don't think I'm going to go for these because you lose one type or the other. The military is the only one that's like still well-rounded and in protection and everything. Um, so we're in the place next to the L uh, the Founders world, which is LFT-926. Um, oh, this wasn't here a second ago. So, apparently there's a war zone. This wants me to fight traitors. Eh, I'll leave that one. I didn't see the war zone mission before, though. That wasn't there. So we need to go where? For this? Hunt war zone. New and new nets. Need to go to new nets. Where's new nets? Has to be somewhere close. Okay, that's pretty close. So let's get to moving. Um, let's see. For takeoff, what are my modules set at? Cargo hatches off. Docking computer and fuel scooper off. Actually, we'll turn the fuel scoop on. Frame shift wake. Yeah, that's all good. Okay. I don't know. Whoa! Hi, Anaconda. How you doing? Whoa! 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 Oh, landing gears. <laughs> I was like, why can't I turn my fins? What is going on? Well, that was confusing as all get out. Gosh, the maneuverability on this thing is pretty amazing. And I'm not sure. It's almost looking like. I might have to go to Super Cruise and then jump if it's going to be stupid about it and say that um, my my area is, or field of view is blocked or whatever. Yep. Dang, nabbit. I hate that so much. Um, I really hate that. I mean, I get it. I joked about it before during the beta of like, you can't hyperdrive through a planet or a star. So, I, I get it. It's just really kind of irritating to me. It's like one other one more thing I've got to figure out. Um, in case anyone was wondering, the reason I was here also um, is because this there was a combat zone right here that I was using to test out the vulture um, after the last episode, which it actually worked pretty well. Um, the one thing I'm not sure about is the fact that I don't have, um, s uh, what is it, shield cell banks. Because the boosters are all well and good, but if your shields start to go down, it makes it difficult to get them back up. Because um, some, some of you have mentioned this in the comments, that the larger your shield capacity, the longer it takes to recharge. So, or at least to full extent, full capacity. So, it's a little tough because it's like the shield boosters will keep them at a higher capacity, but if they're about to crash, there's no way to spike them to, to like, you know, in the last second get them back up to fully charge really quick kind of thing. Um, so I'm debating on whether or not I should drop out one of the boosters, or both of the boosters even, and put shield cell banks in instead. 
or you know like what the best way to, to proceed with that would be um okay so the good news is we're where we need to be the bad news is I don't see a there's an identified signal source and a nav beacon, but I'm not seeing... Wow, 11,000. This is a big system, apparently. Let's... Head this way, I guess? Um, I'm gonna head out this way, but this is gonna take a while. Unless I get lucky and there's just a pop-up really soon about... Um a combat zone. So I'm going to fly towards one of these stations and see if I can't find a combat zone and I will be back when we do. Okay, so we found one. Um, and per... let's put... let's do our standard shields and weapons. Per the tab here we've got two completely independent systems that don't really affect our stuff at all. So we're going to go with the blue crew not only is that a cool name, but it sounds kind of like um, they're winning because their influence is higher. Under Ouchie. Who's attacking me? I wish there was a way to target... There might be a way to target it, actually, but I was kind of hoping there'd be a way to target, like, who's attacking me. Like, just target them. his power plant. So this is a python. This would be a pretty good test. It's not an anaconda, but it'll do. Gosh, look at it. Just eat through their shields. That is incredible. I mean, there's, there's his shields. It's so great. Oh, he did another chaff thing. I will say... Um, I am getting a much higher power draw than I did on the, the Viper, probably because of the increased um, hard point size. But um, they they do actually like run out that I have to back off and let them kind of recharge even with like three blips into the weapons. Okay, come on, come on, come on. This is the only difficult part. It seems... It's ha it has a little bit harder of a time. Well, no. I don't know. Now it's doing some work. Okay. See, this is the the only thing that I'm finding, and this is a personal preference thing. But like my shields getting lower because they're heavy duty shields, it does take them a while to come back. So I have to like. There are points where if I want to stay in the combat zone, I almost just have to fly away and wait like. 15 minutes it seems like for my I don't know if it's actually that long or not but for my shields to come back at full strength and then it's like okay now I can go back and try again um, but that really was not that difficult at all uh, to take to take them out uh, let's go with power plant now we're going against a Cobra. I'm just going to kind of randomly target whatever's closest instead of always going for the Anacondas and stuff. And kind of see how this ends up working. But I mean, anything below like a, a middle to heavy class, like Clippers or anything, like I'm just demolishing shields. Like shields are not an issue. Now the one thing is speed. They can outrun me in this, which is kind of unfortunate. Is he dropping stuff? He's probably dropping landmines or something and I'm just like flying around him. Like, what's that? What's he dropping? I think I'm doing more to his hull than his power plant just because I'm having a hard time hitting his power plant. Come here. Yeah, it is a little bit harder to keep up with things, unfortunately. Oh, come on. I don't know if he's maxed out or not, but I am catching up. Slowly. 
Come on, shields, go away. I hate when they do this, where they basically just completely... The time it's taking me to kill him, he just keeps, like, pulling me way away from the battlefield. It's kind of annoying. Alright, I'm just gonna keep doing this, because it'll just get rid of him eventually. <laughs> Come on, hit him. There we go. There we go. I'm not really sure if that was worth the eight grand or not, but... Um, yeah, he was dropping proximity lines. That's funny. Alright, oh, eagles, this should be fun. This should be fun. Come here, eagle. Here, eagle. Actually, for an eagle, I might just leave it in engine and uh, weapons. Hi, Eagle. How you doing? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Shields go bye-bye. It's kind of one of those, like, do I even need to target the power plant? Not really. Okay, somebody's attacked. Who's attacking me? Wow, what is... What is... What? <laughs> You want my attention, you got it, buddy. Like, what is going on? Those are some rapid fire um, lasers. You must have had multi burst lasers. What's the matter? You were doing so good a minute ago. I, I will admit, though, compared to the Viper, this might be slower, but it's, um, it's maneuverability is, like, wow. Um, oh, okay, I had to scan it first. Yeah, like, this thing's ability to move is incredible. Like, I am definitely thankful that we did this one. This is, this is a good ship to have. I'm just having to get used to the strategy differences, I guess. Alright, here we go. Here's a, here's a good comparison, Viper versus Vulture. Granted, this is an NPC, and NPCs aren't that good of pilots by comparison to actual pilots, but... Oh, look at it, just chew them apart. Even against Hull, that's the part that amazes me. Like, how much damage these lasers do, even against, like, the hull of a ship, instead of... Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Now you're gonna run? Let me hit you. Stand still. Ah, there we go. I think we got him. Nice things about Vipers is they tend to come back. Like, they, they want to attack you. Um, I will admit, I think I'm having an easier time just going for any of the ships and not always going for the bigger, badder ones. Partially because you kind of weed out the bigger, bad or the smaller ones that may, in fact, be, like, hurting you. I totally think I- yeah, I totally yanked that. That's funny. Which one- what's this one in front of me? Python? As long as he's not in a wing. He is in a wing. Dang it. I don't really like the Cobras. They can almost outrun me, and they tend to run, which sucks. I haven't fought a dropship yet. Let's try him. Let's see if we can take it out. I am kind of feeling like a little buzzard when I don't have my blips into ah, crap. into engines. Never mind, let, we're just gonna go for whoever this is that's shooting us. Oh, it is the python! What a jerk! I was gonna leave you alone! You went and attacked me, you jerk face. What's the matter? I thought you I thought you wanted my attention. Okay. Um Mostly just because I don't want to waste energy on points that aren't doing damage. Wow, it whips around so quick. Actually I almost think if I could get a better handle on not getting my shields taken down, the um the vulture may actually be a better suited ship for 
bigger ships because of its maneuverability, it seems like. Um, the, just the fact that it can, like, just spin around and be on top of another ship without having to really work at Like, I'm full throttle and I'm gaining... Not that that's saying a whole lot, it is a little slower. But because of the slowness of the bigger ships, I think sometimes it's negated by the... Um... Oh, wait, where'd he go? I wanted that... Ooh. Let's test it. Are you in a wing? Let's head that way. He is, but it's a one of one? That's weird. Okay. I Side note, I do like how we've completed our mission, like, days ago. That was kind of funny. Wait, that's better! I was like, there's no way I've only made 30 grand. That's not possible. I do like getting ships like these when they're distracted. It's very nice. Okay, he's not that distracted. He used a frag cannon on me, like, right from the get-go. Okay, okay. Hint taken. Hint taken. Yeah, the Anacondas so far have been the only ones that have really actually given me an issue with my shields. Everything else I seem to kill pretty quickly before they can actually drop my shields or cause a problem. Anacondas so far have been the only ones that have really given me a an issue that can pull my shields way down to where I have to actually back off. I don't recall exactly, but I do believe the time that that happened in between the last episode and this one was um, I did get double teamed by, I think it was a Viper and an Anaconda or something, that it just started like wailing on me while I was like doing this and um, it was harder to kill him. Um, the other thing is I'm learning the limits. like go ahead and back off and then come back in for another run once your weapons have come back and stuff. Instead of trying to sit there and use drained weapons. You know, my lasers come back a lot faster than my shields do, so... Favor my shields over my lasers. There we go. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah! I was just about to say something really stupid and be like, look, we haven't even used a shield boost yet. That's because I don't have... or a shield cell. It's like, that's because I don't have any. <laughs> Wait a minute, what, what are you? Python? Alright. Let's go for him first. Mostly because he's closer. That's pretty much my only reasoning for that. Or he was closer. Dang, he must have boosted or something. I do love how this kind of sounds like a little bubble uh, bubble chopper. It's like... Instead of the real growling sound that the, the vipers made, where it was like... You know, <laughs> little vultures like... But this little booger's deceptive, I gotta admit. Like, when I was watching some of the descriptions and reviews and things on it, it was like, well, it's slower, you know, it doesn't have as many hard points, like, why would I want to pick the- but this little booger is kind of a force to be reckoned with. Like, I'm having an easier time with bigger ships in a Vulture than I was on a Viper. The only exception being, like I said, in the Vulture I had shield cells, which I'm debating on whether or not I'd want to switch from boosters to shield cells. Or just stay with boosters, and if my shields start dropping, then just kind of bug out and try and get them to come back. Oh, I've had this happen- oh, there he goes. I've had it happen before a few times where, um, you have their, uh, power plant at zero, but they still, like, don't die, and you're kind of going, like, what's- Hey, 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 hey! I don't- know why I boosted. I hit the wrong button. I actually didn't mean to do that. Wow! Hey look, his shields are gone. Good lord, I'm I'm always... I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to how fast this thing eats through shields. Like, the hull is one thing, but the shields, man... Like, it just 
obliterate shields. You know, I'm also finding with the maneuverability of this ship, I may just stay at full throttle. Because I seem to have an easier time um, avoiding their other ship's attacks, but I, I'm the vulture's maneuverable enough that I can still get up and around them and come up on target again. Come on, give me a give me a good lock. Give me a good lock. There we go. Got him. Give him a couple more taps for good measure. Wait, they didn't see like this. Are you serious? With with really? Zero power plant. Still cranking. Like what did I what do I need to do? Like bump him? Wow, that was kinda cool. We were like perfectly in sync with it. That was so weird. Oh wow, we got way away from the conflict zone. How are we doing on money? 176. Like I'm not the greatest pilot in the world by any stretch, but it's just one of those, like, I don't even feel like I'm really having to work at this. I mean, so far, knock on wood, not that I'm hopeful anything else will happen, but at the moment, I've done this whole thing, I've almost gotten 200 grand, and the close, the lowest my shields have gotten is the first layer are gone. You know, I mean, like, I can't really complain about that. I mean, we're kind of doing pretty awesome. Come to Papa. Oh, I didn't even realize his hull integrity was so low. Yeah, I'm totally yanking this. Hi, guys. Hey, look, he got his shields online. Good for him. Target destroyed. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I love, uh, at this point, with a ship that's actually more maneuverable than eagles, I, I just, I love messing with eagles. They, they used to, like, jack with me so bad. Um. In, uh, in my Viper that I kind of just have to poke at him now. Assuming he would ever stop doing whatever maneuver it is that he's doing that's keeping us spinning around with each other, but, you know. Eh. Come here. Oh, I want it, I want it. I didn't, I don't think I got it. Oh, I did! Totally not fair. I totally pulled that at the last second. Let's go... Wow, there's so many points to this guy. Okay, there it is. My shields are almost back at full, which is a good sign. I'm thinking... I kind of want to just keep rolling until my shields get hit too bad. To where, um... It's like they're going to take forever to recharge or something. I'm going to experiment with my theory about staying in full throttle on this anaconda and see if we see if we um, come out any better. Now granted, I do have only one blip into the engine, so I'm not going at top speed. I'm just full throttle at the moment, so there's that. Whoa, something hit him. Eh. I think I'm actually getting attacked from multiple directions at the moment, too. Off and on, not consistently, but... Okay, I might... I might be... wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong doesn't make me not get hit as much, so we're gonna go I love this an anaconda fires a chaff but I'm so 
close to him and the thing's so freaking big that it's like my target reticles can just be all over the place and I still end up like hitting hitting him, which is kind of funny. Wee! Ow. Ow. So I'm finding if I play my cards right that an anaconda seems to be taking like a layer of shields from start to death kind of thing, give or take, depending on the skill and pilot and everything like that. Come on. Ooh, Ooh that was close. That was pretty close. Oh, what's this one over here? You're close. Ah, I don't really like cobras. Cobras, the, the reason I don't like fighting cobras is they don't have enough of a aggressive streak that they tend to run away when they start to die. But they're also heavily armored enough that I don't, I can't like just take them out in one single run, usually. Like this, he's starting to kind of pull away. I don't want him to pull away, I want him to stay in the fight. So that I don't have to come flying back for kilometers at a time. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, that was a good hit. Nice. I don't know which one pays more, the Viper or the Explorers. Let's find out. Let's kill them both. See what happens. I do kind of like finding ones that are already under attack, because then their health is like half and their shields are almost gone and everything. Are you serious? Thank you. Okay, so the explorers I think give more. Because that was 10. I'm pretty sure the explorers do 14 grand. Alright. Hello. Uh, would you mind just dying for me so I can compare your combat bond price? Please? Maybe? Come on. You know you want to. It's for a good cause. Sort of. Mine. Eh <laughs> My cause. Oh, no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. Get back here. Get back here. Come on. Aha! Okay. So explorers do give more than a viper. That's kind of interesting because in my opinion explorers are less dangerous. That's not always the case. You can outfit them to be bigger, badder ships, but most of the time what I run across, a viper is more dangerous to me than a explorer. So it's a little interesting that they give more combat bond money. But whatever. I mean, they are a more expensive ship, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah, that's right. We just found an already under attack anaconda to, to have fun with. Come here, buddy. I will say, though, I, got, I went up against that one player anaconda that I found out was actually one of the top bounties in the founder system that had like a 700 grand bounty. That looked pretty one-sided. Like if I had actually really been trying to fight him, I don't know if I could have pulled that one off. Um, because A, I didn't really know much about the vultures and how they maneuver and everything, but B is just that he was a lot better at fighting and had a lot better weapons. So, I don't think that would have gone very well for me. Oh, look at him. He's like 16% hull integrity. I think he might have accidentally strafed me. I don't think he was really aiming for me. Gosh, I love just how quickly you eat through their shields. It's amazing. And I know, I've said that like nine times already, but it's just so awesome. 
Nope, I want last hit. Yes! We are Target making shield. bank! Target shields online. Target shields offline. It's always good to pick the winning side. Friendship charge detected. Ha! <laughs> somebody's somebody's bailing. Target shields online. Uh crap. I don't think I have a um next target set up or a previous target sub target set up for on my controller. Goodbye. Yay, money. Uh, what else we got? Now I'm going to get a little pickier and go for bigger ships. Actually, you know what? I want to try and screw around with some of these. I'm getting I'm getting a little cocky here. Not going to lie. But I want to test out some of these sub-targets. Like, if I take out his power distributor, what happens? Does the ship lock up? Does it not? Can it not fire its weapons? Like, what happens? So let's find out. Because I'm curious. And when you're curious, you experiment, right? So let's let's run an experiment. Sub-targeting experiment. Okay. Um... It's the strongest 4% I've ever seen in my life. Alright, so it has no power distributor now, or give or take. So... I'm just, I'm just being mean at this point. Let's try... Um... Shield generator! <laughs> that should be fun. Yes, I know, I'm being very cruel. under attack by my own guys. Oh yeah, okay, so... Didn't exactly get to test the, uh... Shield generator there. Really? A Cobra's the best they got? Wow. We're doing some work out here, man. The enemy force is hurting. How are we doing, money-wise? 300,000? Okay. This is, like, amazing. My shields haven't even gone down yet. This is awesome! I bought reinforced hull. I'm not even sure we'll get to use them this match. Come on, there's gotta be some bigger fish to fry. Where's... If I head this way, there's some lasers over there. I mean, a cobra? Really? It's the best we got to work with? Oh! There we go. Now we're now we're back in the game. Um, I will probably cut this episode relatively soon. Um, oops, just because I don't want like you know a nine-hour episode of doing the same thing over and over again. But I will admit that I have a bit of a hard time doing different things when I'm in the combat state of things because combat is combat. I mean. I don't know. The the most I could probably do differently is going after players or something, but I'm not sure I feel confident enough to do that. Um, um, I've also heard, and I will probably start making my way there, that there's a system... What is it? Like LHS 37 something weird number thing that apparently has a extraction cluster, like a- whoa! Why do I all of a sudden have three things attacking me? Why do I have two vipers and a python? What is going on here? What, who did- who did I make mad? Alright, you wanna go? Let's go! Under attack. We'll push our limit. We'll see if we can take on three different ships at once. Oh, stop chaffing. Chicken. We might have. We might have to jump. We may. I'm not chickening out just yet. I'm just saying we may have to jump at this rate because we've lost a shield layer. Unless I can get rid of one of these vipers, we might have a problem. Why you gotta be so far away? 
It's like you're afraid of me or something. Get back here. Gosh, stop poking me! <laughs> These lasers or whatever they're firing, it's just like poke, 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 poke. It's just this constant flow of attack. Alright, come here, buddy. This is why I hate getting double teamed, because you get people that, like, they drag you out. Alright, come here. You are annoying the crap out of me. Now the other one's going to start hitting me. See, this is why I don't like taking on more than one ship at a time. They, they all bail until you start, sh you know, and then the others follow along behind you and just poke at you. It's really aggravating. I'm falling for it like crazy, and he's got... Yeah, we're bailing. I'm not gonna risk it. Fortunately, they can probably catch up to me. If I can just put three kilometers between us and them, we won't have as big of an issue because then their, their lasers can't hit us. So I think I'm going to have to jump back to where was that place that we got this mission in the first place? Uh, Meredith City LFT 926. Oh, there's another one over by the other hub. Oh, there's another one there. Wow. Okay. Frameshift drive charging. Okay. So that's set. Um, I'm going to turn my fuel scoop back on. Maybe... One, eh! Dang nabbit. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the city and dock and turn in my bounties and combat bonds. Oh, crap. I might have needed to turn those in there. Crap! I might have had to needed to turn them in there. Um, so I will be back when uh, when I'm back at the station. Alright, so we're back at Meredith City. Um, I'm going to turn in that bulletin board bounty. Or whatever you want to call it, I guess. Uh, this one. I feel like it should have given me more than that, but whatever. Apparently I can move up in the feds. That's interesting to me after I just fought a war against them um comment bonds dang it so I do have to go back oh well all right so I have to go back to Nunut is that what it is Nunits I have to go back to Nunits um but I think that'll wrap things up for this episode in the meantime I hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and I will see you all next time peace